Hi everyone, welcome to the Ruby League History Channel, home of the Ruby League Encyclopedia. Tonight I'm coming at you with another video and we're going to be talking about the West Tigers tonight. But more specifically, the top 17 players that the West Tigers have let go since 2010. Now we know it's no secret that the West Tigers are the worst run club in the NRL, especially over the last 10 years. They've had the worst recruitment and retention program over the last 10 years. And oh, I'm one for talking, uh, I support Parramatta and we haven't exactly had the greatest track record either. We've been probably in the top three waste road and clubs over the last 10 years along with the Gold Coast and Newcastle. But I definitely put West Tigers up in the in the top position for the waste road and club in regards to just about everything. But tonight I'm going to be talking about the top 17 players that they've let go. So as a, a West Tigers fan it must be frustrating week in week out seeing players that have been let go do well at other clubs i know how that feels but especially for west tigers fans it mustn't be good so i've come up with a list of 17 players that i'm going to name from fullback down to the, the bench spots i also want to see that this is not really an attack on the west tigers i've said it in a couple of other, other videos before that i do like the west tigers i do want them to do well they've got a, a great supporter base and they've got massive potential, but at the moment they're just not living up to the potential that they could possibly be. So I'm going to read out the team now. There might be some players that may raise a few eyebrows as to why I put them in where, but we'll talk about that after the team list. So coming in at fullback, this is no surprise to anyone. James Tedesco, the wingers, Marika Corabetti and Josh Adulkar, the centre pairing of Eason Masters and Blake Austin. The 5 eighth is Benji Marshall. The halfback is Mitchell Moses. The props is Andrew Fafita and Marty Tapao. The hooker is Robbie Farre. The second row is Gareth Ellis and Kader Sirenin. The lock, Nathan Brown. And on the bench, Ryan Pappenhausen, Aaron Woods, Chris Heinenton, Tavita Totole. And I thought I'd throw in an 18th man there, Corey Thompson. So with this team, you, you might be thinking... Okay, some of these players should be in this team, but what about Eason Masters? He's no good. With Eason Masters, when he was coming through the grades, he was talked up as one of the next big things. He decided to leave West Tigers a couple of years ago, go up to North Queensland. It hasn't worked, up for, worked out for him up there. But one thing I will say is that he's only 24 years old. He's still got a long way to go in his career. And... Trying to compare him to someone else. Maybe he needs a, a, another club. Maybe he needs a scenery change. And I, I looked at someone like Sia Sifatalakai. So he was dropped by South Sydney. He could never get back into the team. He ended up at Penrith. Couldn't even get a game there. He's worked his way back up through Newtown. And now he's with Cronulla. And he's one of the, their best players. And I think maybe Eastern Masters just needs a scenery change. And he can be a, a good player again. And also some of you might be thinking Blake Austin. He's not a centre, he plays at 5 eighth. At West Tigers, he did play a couple of games at centre. He switched between centre and 5 eighth. And I remember after West Tigers let go of Blake Austin, he had a few good years down there in Cambria. He was one of the farm players at the time. And uh, I think he deserves a, a spot on this list. So anyway, that's the top 17 players that West Tigers have let go since 2010. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll be making another video on Saturday, which is going to be the Paramount Day against Canary Bankstown Review. Stay tuned for that. Anyways, this is Ruby League History signing off, and I'll catch us all later in that video. Alright, tatty bye now.